Hello Aries and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 27th of September to the 4th of October 2021. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time. To see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the Oracle. And this is the Sacred Traveler's Oracle, which I'm using today to draw a couple of cards from, just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom does the mysterious Oracle have for Aries for the 27th of October, of, sorry, of September to the 4th of October 2021. So it's the 27th of September to the 4th of October. What messages are here for Aries for the next two weeks? What does Aries need to know at this time? Sort of fan them out as best we can. Let's take that one and that one. And let's see what you get. Surrender to the journey. Release control. Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So these two cards really work together to give a message of assurance to anyone who is on walking a path that they're unsure of you know things may seem you may have started off on an endeavor a project or within a relationship and you're just not sure whether this is the the right path you're on and the oracle says just let go just surrender to the journey accept it for what it is and look on it as an more of an adventure you know just let just Go with the flow to some extent. Release control. And um, don't worry. You are exactly where you need to be. You may not be in familiar surroundings or in a familiar situation, but this is where you need to be now. Isn't that lovely? So it's very reassuring for those of you who are feeling a little lost on your path. But let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. So let's see what's on the cards for Aries for the 27th of September to the 4th of October 2021. What messages are here for Aries for the next two weeks? What does Aries need to know at this time? And this is the Anna K Tarot that I'm using today and I'll be drawing an eight card spread for you with the first two cards depicting you in your current situation. The next two cards Highlighting the challenges that you face at this time. And the following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the final two cards, which may reveal your possible outcome to this time period. So let's see what you get. Start with the Hermit and the Emperor. And the challenge is the Moon and Temperance. Your guidance is the Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. And you move towards the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. That's actually lovely energy there. What have you got at the bottom of the deck? The Two of Pentacles. 
This is about juggling your resources, maintaining a balance, even though things around you may be in flux. It's almost like in this particular um, tarot deck, the two of pentacles um, highlights the aspect of, of a need to, to put on a good front for others. You know, he's like performing, you're performing for others, trying to show that you're okay, you, you got this. And it's pretty much what it says here in your oracle cards. Don't worry, you have got this actually. So just keep going. You can do this. You can balance things. Um, you can maintain your groundedness um, and um, achieve what, you, what you're sort of setting out to achieve. And that's what I get when I look at the, this card in relation to the spread. But you start with the hermit and the emperor. Now the emperor is all about wanting to have control um, so the emperor's a figure who has built something up over time with effort with strategy planning watchfulness discipline and he's used to being in control uh, and he sort of like needs the, the the need to keep control is actually very wearing though for for a person so you he sort of coupled here with the hermit which is all, almost about like turning away from he's turned away from this need to control this need to stay in power and the continual observance and watchfulness and um, discipline that's needed and he's gone away from that to find a light within himself so this is about like putting that aside just um, time for some inner thinking for some reflection and perhaps that's what you need to help you let go of this um, control and when you think of how um, the juggler here you know the control he needs as well that's sort of just come to me as well so you know it's about like letting go of that control and and seeking something a little more reflective a little deeper perhaps um, it sort of suggests if, if you just take time away from this busyness from the the hurly-burly of, of of your life of your journey and um, maybe some time for rest recuperation and allow yourself to heal and because the the um, hermit is a card of healing as well but this is like emotional inner healing I get a sense he's just saying just relax just let it go for a bit take some time out from this continual juggling, this continual struggle to maintain control and balance. So in that, your um, challenge is actually to face a fear. The moon is about moving through an uncertainty. Um, you know, and it sort of links again with this just releasing control and allowing yourself to Acknowledge your fears, your emotions, which are running deep at this time with the moon um, and um, move through this, this time of uncertainty with a sense of balance. Again, temperance in this particular deck is all about balance, um, getting that sense of harmony and knowing that um, you, you can you can maintain this groundedness which helps you through and look she's seeing her path there so this is um, your challenge here is to, is to get a sense of balance of doing the practical things you need to do in order to continue on a path or in a situation but balancing that with some introspection and and um, that may help you move through a time of uncertainty and fear because what you've got here in your guidance card th there's something about love here you've got the knight of cups with his offer of love or his offer lovingly given if you will but you know i get a sense that this is um a quest p perhaps for something that means a lot to you on an emotional level it's in alignment with the moon which is all about deep-seated emotions um there may be you may be facing um, a bit of disharmony a bit of competition here with the five of wands but i get a sense that coupled with the knight of cups it's almost sort of saying don't worry don't think too deeply or or too um 
analytically about the the sense of competition or the lack of um, alignment in in willpower. This is something that is still um, playful. In this particular deck that I've happened to have chosen, you can see the um, the lightheartedness in this competition. Um, certainly, there's there's a battle of wills, but it's not anything that is going to become sinister. It's flanked with love, with the Knight of Cups next to it. So I get a sense that you know your guidance is is to deal with these um, little challenges or lack of cooperation, sort of, of with others. This um, competition with a loving and playful attitude and know that you know there's 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 love in this in this situation that's just the the sense i get from the cards today when i when i look at them so there's your guidance look at this um difficulty you know if you're facing struggling opposing um, willpower and um, opinions and a little bit of competition go with it know that it's not malicious it's playful and there is um, a sense of love with this a seeking of harmony and coming together in a, in a loving way and if you look at the scene it's it's homely and there in the distance is a nice warm home as well so this is homely. And you're moving towards success, achievement, the acclaim of having managed this. Um, this is um, a, a victory card. So it's wonderful to get that in, in the end of the spread. I get a sense of, of coming home, of feeling I've got this. Yes, I, I'm, I, I really feel that success now. And others around me appreciate that. They, uh, you know, sort of are in harmony with that. So you're moving towards achieving a goal, having, you know, the quest you're on is, is attainable and, and attaining it joyfully in, and that joy is shared with those who are important to you and there's the wheel of fortune at the end sort of showing, um, I get a sense next to the six of ones that's sort of saying finally everything feels like it's clicking into place you feel that change of energy that darkness disappears and the light comes into the situation you feel you get a sense yes you're on your right path you know that you're exactly where you need to be so that's actually lovely um energy from the cards in the spreads you start off your trouble here is a, um, a need to maintain, um, you know, juggle resources or maintain balance and um, power or control in a situation. But your guidance sort of suggests you may need to go with the sense of the unknown, release that need to control. A bit of introspection will help you with that and, um, uh, you know, enable you to retain that sense of balance within yourself and enable you to move through face the challenge and move through this time of uncertainty and fear just going with it going with the flow and you know acknowledging these deep emotions that are about you and knowing that um, any competition or struggles they're minor and they're more playful than malignant there is love around you and you're moving towards success towards a sense of knowing that you've been brought to the place you need to be. So there you have it, Aries. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons and then have a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again.